What's up, everybody? It's Roger and James here from the Disc Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about Kingdom Hearts 3. Loads of information kind of dropped over the weekend. Um, we had the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra. We then got um, E3. So at the actual the Microsoft show, we got to see a brand new trailer for uh, the Frozen World and a few other business pieces. There are going to be some more information coming up at probably during the Square Enix and probably the PS4 one. Or is it the time of recording? Uh, This is going to be as up-to-date as we can have it, but I'm sure we'll have some more, another episode next week with even more Kingdom Hearts news. It's going to be on the things, but first off, the big one really was the release dates. The release date has officially been revealed. Uh, Was it January 29th, 2019? So, uh, slip uh, slip back from the 2018 release window, which is what they said originally. So, there's been a lot of talk about, oh no, it's been delayed again. It's like, well... Technically, they had never released a date. Now, it is delayed 29 days, because it could have come out on the 31st of, of December, and they technically would have been right before that. So, I a month delay, I'm not that, I'm not really that sort of, like, oh no, this is awful. It's like, okay, they this is, it actually happened, the exact same thing happened to 2.8. Yeah, and for me, I've got two kind of views on this on the one hand yeah they never released a date so technically it's only been delayed like twice Mm. technically it's only been delayed twice sure they told us 2018 it's really 2019 very early in 2019 so whatever we're tiny tiny little thing to complain about on the other hand people have been waiting for a proper kingdom Hearts sequel not a, yeah. a DS game, not a, a mobile game. A proper can, Kingdom Hearts sequel since 2005 in Japan, 2006 in America. Yeah, technically there are no delays, <laughs> but at the same time, it's, it's been, been more than ten years. It, we're we're coming up. Uh, even if you go if you go by the Jap- Japanese date, we're coming up on fifteen years yeah i yeah. mean it'll be out before the 15 year mark because that would be 2020 but yeah whether or not it's been delayed is completely beside the point <laughs> it's been so freaking long and granted neither of us were playing it back then no. we both only got into kingdom hearts very very recently and even we're kind of going get on with it already we, we want to yeah. see where this goes so yes technically it's only been delayed twice now but that yeah yeah, it's it's, it's annoying. In any, it's, in any. <laughs> um, I mean, we originally was expecting like a November release, um, like the Christmas type, and so it might have only been pushed back a couple of months. I'd rather they do push a game back a few months and f- make sure it's proper before they release it. Um, you know, lots of game. You know, even God of War only this year had like I think it was like a month delay at the last minute. It's not uncommon. Um, I rather they they do that to make the game better. I do not want day one patches. I don't want them, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So there are falls and against it. Um, I'm glad we've got a date. It's looking like it's pretty much set. You know, that still gives them still gives them six months to work on tweaking it. Um, there was some people playing it. Um, they flew out a load of the some of the big uh, YouTubers in the last couple of weeks out to try it to show off some footage and stuff from that. And there was a little bit of feedback from them about some things needing some tweaking. Um, I know they've been, some of them are going, oh, you caused, it's like, no, they didn't cause the delay. They may have just given them some posit- some constructive criticism that maybe needed some tweaking. But generally, I think this was happening anyway, because they've been very coy with releasing that date. Right. And there's also kind of a, a slight side effect to this. Not a, not a huge one, but... Um, one thing that was, I found interesting here was they announced this. The, the trailer came at the Microsoft conference. Yeah. Now, Kingdom Hearts, at least one and two, have always been PlayStation games. We we did know Kingdom Hearts three was coming to Xbox, but I I was still kind of hoping for people who maybe haven't owned yeah. a Sony console who who, never, who didn't own Kingdom Hearts when they did have a Sony console that they would announce Kingdom Hearts one point five, two point five, two point eight for. Xbox fans are for people who yeah. never had a, a PlayStation, so they would have the chance to play through uh, these mm. uh, at least one and two. Yeah, you know, before uh, Kingdom Hearts three came out, if that was going to happen, I they I would assume they would have announced that. Yeah, at 
the the Microsoft cons because it would have been like, uh, here's the trailer for Kingdom Hearts three, which we'll we'll actually yeah. start talking about in a second. And then, by the way, here's 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8 yeah. out at this time. At this point, if those games were coming out for the Xbox, we would have heard about it. But because of the delay, I think we can kind of read between the, li- the lines right now, which is they don't have any resources to dedicate to anything other than Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. They do not want anybody distracted on side projects right now. So, um, unfortunately, if you are an Xbox and Nintendo only, haven't played... Uh, on a Sony console, or did not play Kingdom Hearts on a Sony console, uh, you've got some YouTube watching to do because mm-hmm. I guarantee you, Kingdom Hearts three will make no sense at all if you just jump in. I don't think it'll make any sense even if you've played all the other games. Um, it will make slightly, <laughs> slightly more sense. Um, but yeah, with that in mind, let's actually go ahead and talk yeah. about Kingdom Hearts um, three now. So the trailer, um, gonna be honest, not great. There was a problem with it, and that was the sound. It, the dubbing was off, the sound effects seemed off, a lot of the major streams, people have been picking up on it, um, and a lot of people go, going, hold on a minute, this is your biggest, this is E3, it needed to be ready. Um, however, you know, Frozen, I mean, to Frozen and Tangled looked like they were just from the movie. I mean, they've got to that point now where the, the actual video effects, that, you know, if you said to me, actually, that the team behind the movies have made them, that's what it looks like. Because this, yeah. is, this is like picture in picture. Although I did, I wasn't sure if Elsa was being voiced by Idina Menzel or not. It sounded like she wasn't, no. um, which was kind of a little bit of a thing. I didn't actually notice any issues with the sound, but um, I wasn't paying that close attention. <clears throat> it was the first time, I think, as far as I know, it was the first time that we've seen any Kingdom Hearts 3 material in English, though. No, no, we um, we, we've seen. We, we did have a previous we've one. We've had a few. Okay. We've had quite a few trailers now over the time done it. But the dubbing is it's, it's a Japanese movie, so there's always it is. Movies. I mean, I was quite. I mean, I put on the Xbox uh, presentation on the big screen. I thought, well, it's on at nine o'clock at night, so it's quite a good time thing. I thought maybe fingers crossed we get to see something. You know, we might see some kind of. I was not expecting it. when Kingdom Hearts came up. I was like, whoa! It's the first time it's been on an Xbox console. Um, it was on the big stage. Exactly where it needed to be. I mean, a tangled bit looks great. There was also lots of footage of just get bit of gameplay thrown in there. There was lots of just generic kind of all the the Kingdom Hearts characters. You know, we get Aqua at the end looking like she's got got gone rogue. And um, if you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, a lot of this will be like you know watching a few ones where they're like, oh, this is happening. This is, I, I'm not at that point where you know all these characters. I you know, there's so much going on in this things. I'm not. I like playing it, and I enjoy playing the game. But some of these characters and what's going on with it is so deep. I'm. I'm just not at that level. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Olaf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we've talked about this before. Uh, kind of joked about it, honestly. Yeah. But you know, there are um, two entirely different segments of gaming population when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. There's the guys like you and me who are like, this is a fun game. I like what they're doing. Uh, I enjoy seeing the Disney elements and seeing my Disney characters interacting and all that fun stuff. And But once the game is done, yeah, it, it's done, and we move on, and we go on to something else. And then there is a completely different subset of gaming where Kingdom Hearts is life, basically. Mm. It, it has consumed... Uh, some gamers, ever since the first Kingdom Hearts game, and it has become an obsession for them. That's perfectly legitimate, you know. Um, I, I'm not there. I'm never going yeah. to get there. But if people want to deep dive into this and you know try to piece together the story, such as it is, more power to them. Uh, I do think that this trailer actually was perfectly fine for that first subset, though, where you're yeah. kind of like, oh, cool, it's Olaf, it's Rapunzel, it's Hercules, yeah. and, and so on, and. It was a very good, quick yeah. trip through various worlds that we're going to see. It got me hyped up to, to be like, oh, I want to I see what they're going to do with that. I want to see where, where we're going to go with that. I want to play with these characters. I want to interact with Wreck-It Ralph and all that stuff. And, yeah, uh, for yeah. a trailer to get us ready for um, the game, and this might be the first interaction some people have with the game mm. simply from this conference... Uh, because of the the Microsoft and Sony mm. fanboy whatever, uh, yeah, the, this 
yeah. this did what it needed to do. Sound issues yeah. aside, I think we, I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see a lot more from Kingdom Hearts over the next couple of days from E3. So, um, this is just the start of it. But I thought the trailer did very well. It looks amazing. Um, we kind of all thought Frozen was going to be coming in. I'm glad it's in there, and you know, this is a thing as well. I'm glad they are pushing the Disney's factor a lot more stronger. Because I think that needed it to be done. I think, especially with the lack of Disney games, then that being the forefront of these characters and interacting, you know, that needs to be sold. We're in a different era of, like, from the original Kingdom Hearts, where they've got to put over that this is the Frozen game and you've got Tangled and all the rest of it. This is not... If you're after Gears of War and all the rest of it, this is a different kind of game. And I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, it's that kind of thing of like, like oh, because I we mentioned on Discord, you know, between The Incredibles and Spider-Man, that might be it for 2018. And of course, Kingdom Hearts has slipped back. You know, there's like, ooh, this, this is like there's this major Disney video game, and it's just, just just there, but you can't quite play it yet. And Yeah, and we've talked about in the past, too, where this Kingdom Hearts 3 would have been a very good, uh, solid November release, yeah. just in time for... You know, mommy and daddy to pick this up for the kids. Although I, I expect, considering the history of the title, the majority of people who are going to pick this up are going to be yeah. themselves, and they're going to be uh, in their mid twenties or older mm. at this point because of how long it's been. Yeah, it's going to be. Um, I was going to say it's going to be a big, busy period. Um, sort of the January, February is becoming a very popular hotbed for getting games out now. It's um, there's a lot of stuff that was announced um, already by. Microsoft and EA about stuff coming out. Right, it's going to be it's a crowded time just as much. Oh yeah, uh, this year and into early 2019, <laughs> so many games. Yes, there's a lot so out there. Much. But we'll have to know what, what you guys thought of the Kingdom Hearts free trailer and the release date being pushed back. Let us know your thoughts on it. Again, we'll be talking about more Kingdom Hearts next week. I'm sure for it with some of the things from E3. Let us know in the comments below. Check us out over at thiskingdom.com. Like, subscribe, follow whatever platform. James, where can they find you? Uh, HeroicLegacy.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Laters.